Hey my friends, welcome to Joyce Tech. In this video, I will show you how to install DLib library in Visual Studio Code. Yes, the same DLib library that is used for face detection. So without further ado, let's begin installing it in Visual Studio Code. So to do that, we'll have to first click on file and then click on open folder. So basically, we'll have to create a Python project folder first and open it in Visual Studio Code. I am going to create one folder on my desktop because I don't have it already created. And if you are following along with me, you should also create one wherever you want. So I'm going to click on new folder and I'm going to name it dlib underscore VS code. I'm going to click on create and there you go. It has been created. Now I'm going to open it in Visual Studio code. All right, you can see that the folder has been opened in Visual Studio Code. Within this folder, I'm going to create a file main.py in which we are going to write some code later to test the installation of the DLib library. But next thing that we are going to do is to create a virtual environment within this Python project folder. So to do that, we are going to click on terminal and then click on new terminal. All right. Now we are going to write the command to create a virtual environment and it's a very simple command. So we'll write python 3-m venv and after a space we are going to write the name of the virtual environment. So I'm going to name my virtual environment dlib underscore venv. You can name it whatever you want. I click on enter and if it doesn't throw any error that means it's successfully created. All right, I see a dialog over here which says we noticed a new environment has been created. Do you want to select it for the workspace folder? Yes. And there you go. This signifies that a virtual environment has been created. You can see it over here within the dlib underscore vs code folder that we created. Now within this bin folder, there is an executable activate, which we are going to source in order to activate this virtual environment. So we are going to write source dot forward slash dlib underscore vnv forward slash bin forward slash activate. There you go. You can see that the virtual environment dlib underscore vnv is active. Now we are going to finally install the dlib library. But before installing the DLib library, we need to install another library, which is called a CMake. Only then DLib is going to be installed successfully. So to install it, we are going to write pip install CMake. I hit enter. All right. Oh, I guess the Wi-Fi is broken. That's why it threw this error. Let me fix it. All right, guys, the Wi-Fi is back. So I'm going to read in the command to install CMake. So it will be pip install CMake. You can see that the installation has begun. All right, you can see that it has successfully installed the CMake. Now we are going to install the DLib library. Let's try to directly install it using pip. So it will be pip install dlib. I hit enter. The installation has begun. All right. So this is what happens every time. And this is a common installation error that is encountered during the installation of the dlib library which says could not build wheels for dlib, which is required to install pyproject.toml based projects. You can see it has thrown an error and many programmers get a hard time installing dlib because of this. So what we are going to do, we will try to install a specific version of dlib. So let's do that. Let's make it pip3 install dlib double equals to sign 19.24.2. Let's try to install this and see if it works. Awesome. You can see that dlib has been installed successfully now. So the key to avoiding 
the installation error always encountered during dlips installation is to install a specific version of dlip and this version is compatible with python 3.12 as well you can see that i am using python 3.12 so this version of dlib is compatible with python 3.12.2 and with this we have come to the end of this video i hope you enjoyed learning how to install dlib library in visual studio code from this video of joystick i'll see you in the next video till then goodbye and take very good care of yourself